Top 10 Richest Widows in the World. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hi there, Aluxers, and welcome back to a dark but amazing Alux.com original video. Today we're looking at some of the wealthiest women in the world. Most of the women on this list inherited the fortune of the male counterparts after their deaths. So are you ready for the top 10 richest widows in the world? Let's get started. Number 10, Christy Walton, net worth $5.5 billion. You know it's gonna be an amazing video when our number 10 person has $5.5 billion. So who is she? Ever heard of Walmart? Yep, I bet you have. The Waltons are definitely one of the richest families in the world. So why is Christy Walton only the 10th richest widow? Her late husband, John Walton, passed away in 2005. Previously sealed documents revealed that half of his wealth went to charitable trusts. Christy was left with just one-sixth of it. The 67-year-old widow is now living a quiet life in Jackson, Wyoming. Number 9. Carrie Perotto, net worth $6 billion. Carrie Perotto was a Singaporean top model. She is now a philanthropist. In the early 1970s, she got married to Hubert Perotto, a French entrepreneur in the oil and gas industry. One of his biggest companies is the Perenco. He passed away in 2006, leaving Carrie with one-fourth of his wealth as it was split among her and his three children. The 65-year-old widow founded her own modeling agency, Carrie's Model, which she even sold for quite some money. She's doing well living in London, spending that money. Number 8. Eva Gonda de Rivera, net worth $6.5 billion. Eva Gonda de Rivera owns one of the largest stakes of FEMSA, the biggest independent Coca-Cola bottler and distributor in South America. Her late husband, Eugenia Garza Lagura, was the chairman of the company. When he passed away in 2008, he left his stake to Eva and their four daughters. One of her daughters is married to the current CEO of the company, just to keep it in the family. Number 7. Margarita Louis Dreyfus, net worth $8.6 billion. Margarita Louis Dreyfus is the chairman of Louis Dreyfus Company, a giant commodities company in France. Her late husband, Robert Louis Dreyfus, was the chairman of the company. When he passed away in 2009, she took over as she carries on with her baby twins. She even made big changes to the company. The 54-year-old widow is also the owner of the Olympique Marseille, a French football club and is now living in Davos, Switzerland. Number 6. Iris Fontbona, net worth $10.1 billion. Iris Fontbona is the owner of Antofagasta Place, one of the biggest mining and beverages company in Chile. Her late husband, Andrew Nicoluxic, built the fortune from scratch. When he passed away in 2005, she took over the business alongside their three sons. Unfortunately, one of them passed away in 2013. She is a very generous woman, giving away $5 million on the Chilean telethon, setting a donation record. Number 5. Gina Reinhardt, net worth $10.2 billion. A few years ago, we were even ranking her as the richest woman in the world. She's the current owner of a large portfolio of Australian businesses. The biggest business is the Iron Ore Company, which she inherits from her late father, Lang Hancock. The company was falling into bankruptcy when she took over. However, she turned it into the money-making machine and is widely regarded as one of the most powerful women in the business world. Number 4. Massimiliani Landini Aliotti, net worth $10.6 billion. She is the owner of Menarini, which is probably the biggest pharmaceutical company in Italy. As you've noticed by now, her late husband's built the company from scratch and after his death, she took over. A few years ago, they came after her fortune for tax invasion but there wasn't enough evidence to build a case. The 73-year-old widow is now living in Milan, Italy. Number 3. Laureen Powell Jobs, net worth $17.7 billion. Laureen Powell Jobs is the founder and chairman of Emerson Collective. It is an organization that uses entrepreneurship to advance social reform and to assist under-resourced students. You might have heard of her husband, Steve Jobs, when Steve died, he left his huge check of both Apple and Disney, so Lorene is getting richer every day. She's been keeping a low profile ever since. By the way, shameless plug here, we worked really hard on an Apple video a while back that simply didn't get enough credit. Would you mind checking it out after this one? Thanks. Number 2. Maria Franco Fazzolo, net worth $24.7 billion. Maria Franco Fazzolo is currently the owner of Ferrero Group. Ever heard of the Nutella, Kinder, Tic Tac, or Ferrero Rocher? Yeah, that Ferrero. 
Her late husband, Michelle Ferrero, turned the company into a behemoth. He passed away in 2015, ironically on Valentine's Day, when his products reached the highest sale throughout the entire year. The 98-year-old widow is among the rich and famous who live in Monaco, one of our favorite cities. She also happens to be the richest person in Italy and also the second oldest female billionaire for that matter. Number 1. Lillian Bentoncourt, net worth $40.1 billion Hey Aluxers, meet the richest woman in the world. She didn't get the company from her husband, she got it from her father. What company might that be? Ever heard of L'Oreal? Well, she owns it. Her father built one of the greatest companies in the world and today she's too old to run it. Plus, multiple medical sources mention she's suffering from dementia. Last year, even the French court sentenced a celebrity photographer and several wealth managers to prison for taking advantage of her mental health. Her only daughter is currently taking care of the business. What do you think about these widows taking over the fortune of their late husbands? Let us know in the comments. Your reward for watching this video up to this point is the following fact. Recently, a woman in Thailand tried to marry a dead man. She says she has always loved him and he would have wanted her to get some of his belongings. She had a priest do the ceremony and everything. The marriage is not considered valid under Thai law. Interesting times we're living in. Thank you for spending some time with us Aluxers. If you enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. If you're bored, you might want to check out our website, alux.com, for great articles or our Instagram or Facebook page. Thank you for being an Aluxer.